Hi everyone, this is Eugene Lisho from AI2-3D Forensic Animations and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about Photosynth and how possibly one day Photosynth could be used as an investigative tool for forensics. Now, for those of you who don't know what Photosynth is, uh, Photosynth was a tool that was created by Microsoft and is a merging of a couple of technologies um, that allow you to take photographs of an area or an object and as you take these photographs and a whole number of photographs it calculates the, um, the, the relative position of the cameras that took each photo and also the spatial relationships between each of the photographs. So here's an example in front of me, um, probably show you better than I can explain it, but I have all these little boxes that I'm sort of getting highlighted here, all a number of different photographs that I've taken of this shoe. And as I click on each of the photos, you can see I zoom in and I turn and I go to different areas of the shoe. All these photographs are spatially related to one another and uh, it's kind of one of the uh, interesting things of um, how uh, Microsoft has created this sort of novel idea of presenting your photographs in a different way. Now one of the interesting things about this and how it's useful for forensics is that a byproduct of the technology is that it, it creates point clouds. And I'll show you what I have here. If I back out you can see that there's a number of different points around this shoe. I'll just get rid of all the uh, the photographs here so you can just see the points here so there you go you can see a number of points and what it's done here is it's taken points that are in the different photographs that are common to one another and created a, a, a single point in 3D space now if you do a lot of um, photographing of an object well eventually it just creates more and more and more points so eventually you have a point cloud of that particular object so this can be very useful if you're trying to take measurements of something it doesn't necessarily have to be something that is very small it could be a, a very large area a, a roadway a house so this is very very interesting another example that I have here is a point cloud of a footprint and normally when forensic uh, identification people get to a site, if they need to identify something or record it and document it, they'll take photographs. And the one thing you lose with a photograph is the depth. So you don't actually, you can't actually tell how deep, for example, the the edge of the footprint is here from the top. And uh, sometimes that can be useful information. So if I switch to the point cloud and I move in here a little bit and I'll wait for this to update, you see that I have a, a relatively dense point cloud here. So what I can do is move this over and you can get an appreciation for the depth. And I just need to back up. Let me go back to my home position. There we go. So now you can see I, I have a certain angle. Now if I have a scaled measurement somewhere across here, I can actually start finding some of the fine details of the ridges in the foot uh, or in the footprint and uh, some different features. So you can see that there's some really some uh, interesting benefit to Photosynth. So in just a second here, I'll switch windows and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so what I have here is the uh, same point cloud that's in a, another program called uh, Studio Clouds, which is a uh, point cloud uh, software. And uh, I have a ramp here that's showing the different heights. Now, this, this hasn't been scaled properly, so it's actually showing uh, incorrect units. I have them in millimeters, and there's rather high numbers, so, so I'd have to scale it down to the proper size. But uh, the point here is that you can export the point cloud. The relative sizes to each other would be accurate. You can scale it down if you have a reference measurement and you know you can do some really interesting things. So here I've applied a, a gradient to it and you can see you know different things about the, the depth of the imprint and a very very useful and possibly um, important piece of software uh, in the future. And of course there's still some things that would be an issue for forensic purposes but uh, hey, if Microsoft, if you're listening out there, uh, you, you know, you've probably got an interesting tool here. You just need to improve the security and uh, improve some of the tools that are there. And I think this one could be a winner. Thanks a lot.